What's going on, everybody? I'm the Goods on YouTube. Today, I'm going to show you uh, just the main menu and oh, all the menus in Next Gen. This is the Jordan Challenge. Uh, if you want to start the Jordan Challenge, you go here to click that. My career, that's where you have the city, Pro-Am, Rec, all of that good stuff. And I, I recommend trying it this year if you haven't tried it in, in years past. Here you have my team. You can do the different my team modes. Um, and then we got WNBA. The WNBA my career stuff is in here, but you can also play the W. Now play now. We're going to look at it. We've got quick play uh, NBA today. That starts during the season. We've got play now online. You can play with friends or anybody online. 2KU is where you practice. And then blacktop. Some people use blacktop to practice like dribbling against the CPU and stuff. My NBA eras, of course, you know, you can start there. You can go to 2K share setups that gives you like settings and stuff uh, that other people have shared. Scenarios actually gives you the full My NBA with rosters and everything that other people have set up. Uh, playoffs, you can't use custom rosters in playoffs, so don't get too excited. But let's go to WNBA. You got the W, that's the My Career. My WNBA, that's like My NBA franchise mode. Quick play. Now, this is kind of like the quick play for the NBA players. 2K share setups again, that's settings. And then um, we've got scenarios where you can download an entire WNBA scenario. Uh, the playoffs, again, no custom rosters or the playoffs. Now, for features, you got settings, sliders, all of that stuff. Um, I'm not going to get into the sliders, but coach settings, you know, I'll show you guys all the coach settings here. This is mostly for people that don't have this. OK, controller settings. I'll show you guys what's in this screen. If you don't have the game yet, this video is probably going to be of use to you. So I'm just showing everybody and some people like to look at the user interface, which I, I love looking at sports games, uh, user interfaces. Anyway, uh, let's see. You got rosters you can pick. If you pick this, you can't really edit players. This is more so to look at the ratings and stuff like that. Then you got create a roster. Now, uh, for NBA, you can choose during an era and then WNBA, you just choose the current WNBA. But uh, I was going to say something. Um, oh, yeah. In in create a roster, that's where you actually edit. You can use the official roster, you know, user created or injury free. Right now, I don't think that you don't need to go to injury free right now. Um, injury free is going to be the least used. But this is where you get all the options to edit players and save your roster or just leave without saving a roster. You can do create a draft class and now create a draft class. You can do one for the NBA or WNBA. So that's pretty cool uh, for create a player. This is where you create all of your players. Player DNA is. Uh, oh, yeah. I forgot to say you can create WNBA and NBA players on next gen player DNA. That's where you like copied somebody's DNA, whether it be looks or their ratings. Now, the shoe creator shoe creator is really similar to man last generation this generation is the shoe creator has been the same for years and years and years all right 2k beats that's where the music is uh credits that's where you can see uh all the people that work for 2k and their positions not work for 2k but that worked on 2k 23 and what position and title they held this is where a lot of people get their information but don't go looking for these people on twitter and stuff not all of them are going to be on twitter anyway um, I think I got one more thing to show you, but as I, I was going to say something about 2K Beats, you can't turn off the sound. I don't think you can turn off soundtrack from 2K Beats. You can turn off the in-game music and stuff from the settings. Anyway, back on the main menu at the very bottom right corner, you can click on that. The game feels more realistic. All right, that's all I got for the menu.